Hi, it's gonna ruin. Welcome back. So, is your cellular data is grayed out on iPhone after the recent update? Maybe I was 18 so later. Now, if you ever encountered these grayed out problems on your cellular data and you can't find access to it, then watch the entire video to learn an easy way to solve the problems. Now, before you start, there are a few things you gotta keep in mind. This problem can happen for hardware and software problems. The first things you have to do here, you gotta swap down from the top here, enable airplane mode for about 10 to 20 seconds, and then turn it off. This will quickly restart your network along with your SIM network as well. Just simply do this and check out whether you're being able to access your mobile data or not. If you see, well, this simple process did nothing to you, the next thing that you wanna do is just go to the settings on your iPhone, scroll down to the screen time, this time you gotta scroll down to the content of privacy restrictions from the screen time and you wanna simply turn off the content and uh, privacy restrictions entirely from your iPhone, then get out of here and remove everything from the background and simply restart your iPhone. Now, most likely, if this is a software-related problem, your problem is going to be solved. But if still, if you have a problem, you can do last two simple process on your iPhone to solve your problems. Next, you can eject your SIM card from your iPhone, wait for some time, and put your SIM card back onto your iPhone again to see if that works or not. Let's say you're done this process as well, but still it's not useful. Then last, open up your settings and you want to go to the general. Simply tap software update and check out if there's new software available or not. If you found a wall, there's new software available, go and update it. Or if there's nothing, simply go back here, scroll down to the tens vendors at iPhone, select reset and simply select reset all settings. I understand this will actually, you know, change your wallpaper and will delete the Wi-Fi password. But other than that, it's not going to delete any of your data. So you can feel free to do it just to make sure that is it working or not. Even after following all of the process, if you still have problems, you either can switch your SIM card or you got to contact the Apple Care to solve your problem. Still have a question? Please let me know in the comment section, guys. See you all around.